The COVID-19 numbers for Riverside County and Coachella Valley that came out today show a sharp decrease in the number of new cases, down to 126, and that's countywide. Only 16 here in the Coachella Valley. However, there are 10 new deaths across the county. Riverside County is still in the purple phase, above 8% threshold of positive results. The numbers we just showed you are ticking down, but they're still too high. But there's one indication things might be getting a little better. It's the military medical team who came to the Coachella Valley to support workers at Eisenhower Health are now going home. Our Kitty Alvarado got exclusive access to the 60th Air Wing Medical Group during their stay and joins us now with their departure, Kitty. That's right, and they were only supposed to be here for four weeks, but got extended another two. And boy, what a difference six weeks makes. They got here at the peak of the COVID surge, and now thankfully the situation is manageable for the staff, and they couldn't be more grateful. The 60th Air Wing Medical Group from Travis Air Force Base is going home after a six-week mission to help the staff at Eisenhower Health deal with an overwhelming COVID surge. The uh, mission to, to, to help out the staff here at Eisenhower um, has, been, has been accomplished. Captain Tyler Padgett says this time has been rewarding. It feels incredible to be a part of the massive team here at Eisenhower and to kind of join hands and create a front against the crisis. The team arrived when the hospital had to expand beyond their normal capacity. I can't begin to describe what the hospital was going through. We had at our peak more than 90 patients on average in the hospital with COVID-19. We had opened three nursing units plus critical care beds. As our intensive care unit had occupied two ICUs for COVID patients, that had created a huge burden on the staffing. So we were really stretched, stressed, and our nurses were exhausted. But as they leave, they have an average of 30 COVID patients and one ICU with five patients. And we're staffed quite well right now. Uh, they came in at, at the perfect time. They're remarkable. The staff is grateful for the courage they showed in stepping up to fight a deadly virus and help a community in need. They really are self-sacrificing. It really is a tribute to our military. Your help has been very, very appreciated. We appreciate you more than you'll ever know. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you indeed. And now when the team returns to Travis Air Force Base, they do have to quarantine for two weeks to make sure that they're not sick. And we're definitely grateful for this team and for their service. I'm Kitty Alvarado. All right.